Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here and I am back for another PlayStation 5 game review and kind of an accessibility spotlight as well. And yeah, believe it or not, we are taking a look at another Ubisoft game. This time we are taking a look at Riders Republic. Now this is a game that they announced, I forget if it was last year or I think it was. Um, kind of this open world, outdoor, extreme sports, you know, you've got biking, snowboarding, skiing, uh, paragliding or whatever, uh, all kinds of different things. And so we are looking the, looking at the PlayStation 5 version of this. And before I go any further, I do want to thank Ubisoft for their review code for this game. Uh, it was provided, Ubisoft did provide me a code review code to look at the accessibility and uh, review this game. So thank you to that and I just wanted to also, like I said, just make sure that I um, put that out there as a disclaimer to say yes I did receive a code um, for this particular title but I will be um, giving my honest thoughts per usual. So again, PlayStation 5 version here, um, Ubisoft games as they've been doing in the last couple of years now as soon as you fire this thing up, it gives you some accessibility options. So a lot of good onboarding there. It does have text-to-speech. It does have a screen reader. Very similar to Far Cry 6 and um, a lot of last fall's titles. Then mode, press. Ubisoft Connect. Then mode, press. Continue, press. Drop. So that is the voice that you get. Um, Wish it was a little bit higher quality, maybe not quite as muffled, but hey, you know what? I'm really, really glad it's there. So that is a great thing. Um, I will, again, say right up front, this is a game that I don't think would be really totally blind accessible. If you have some vision and you want to be able to use the text-to-speech to help you around the menus and user interfaces and stuff, that's okay. But um, totally blind, playable, navigating to objectives through the open world and just playing through the tracks, not what I would call blind accessible. Because I know people are going to ask. So before we go into the game, options. let's go into options. I'll give you a quick tour of some of the accessibility features and even just some of the game uh, options that you can choose from. Landing so we get our gameplay menu. Landing mode auto. Tricks ampersand rotations auto landing no landing bonus on play tab preset to default press triangle so some of this was just set by default button. I didn't change really anything so far this is just what the game has you start at so you have kind of like a landing assist where you can do manual or auto to kind of make make landing tricks when you're on a bike or skis or anything like that easier grind auto the same thing with grinds Board skis are controlled on when option is on. It allows you to control your board slash skis while airborne. Very useful when grind mode is set to manual. On play tab preset to default. Press I do. Button, back, press circle button. I do like the fact that it uh, it reads not only the uh, item and its status, but it also reads the tooltip on the right there. Bike air control on allows you. Bike to air control. control yep. Airborne. Game difficulty standard. Set so I'm playing on standard. That's what it defaulted to. Higher difficulty will crossplay on enable or disable matchmaking with players playing on other platforms. So this is cool. Reset to default. Press try. You can play um, crossplay if people, you know, if you have friends that maybe have the Xbox or PC version, you can play with them. Or if you want to limit it to just the console that you have. You can choose to do that as well. I like to see more crossplay for a multiplayer. That's a good thing. Invert X axis for ground. Invert X. Invert Y axis for ground. Invert Y. Invert X axis for air sports law. Yep. So air sports. So that makes sense. Like flying. Those are inverted. Invert camera X axis off. Invert camera. Invert camera Y axis. Camera sensitivity 1.0. Camera sensitivity, that's a great thing to have. Map navigation sensitivity 1.0. Map navigation, just moving around the map. So there's that tab. 
controller mapping. Press cross so you get button. controller mapping. You can remap the controls. That's awesome. Controller preset racer. Camera control. Now. Front, flip cross button and triangle button. Spin square button and circle button. Controller tab preset to default. Press triangle button. Back. Press what I will button. say. Um, when it just rattled off like X button, you know, uh, triangle button, blah, blah, blah. With the kind of, with the, with the way that the speech is and she just kind of rambles on blah, 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 blah. It's honestly kind of hard to remember or parse some of those things. You know, it's like X button, jump, circle button, do this. You know, it just kind of goes on and on. Like you almost wish there was like a short pause to be like X button, Ollie, Y button, grind x or circle button whatever um but what i was so what i was going to say is yeah they have two major um control schemes you have more of a racer setup and you have more of a stunt setup so it kind of depends on what style you like to play um you get more fine control for movement and tricks and things if you do the stunt but if you're looking at more racing and that um, the game defaults you to ra uh, race mode, but you can change that, like I said, at any time here. Controller vibration on. Enable vibration. Control. Left stick dead zone size zero. Left right stick dead zone. Right stick dead zone. Right stick zero. dead zone, and that's all we got for there. Game volume one. Now we've got a lot under audio. Game volume. Music. Volume Music. Dialogue. Volume Dialogue. SFX volume sound 100. effects. Fuji volume 100. Adjust the volume of all menu and HUD sound effects. Audio tab. Okay, yeah, UI. I couldn't understand what she said at first. It sounds like Huhi volume. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's UI. Yeah. So this, the speech engine needs a little work. Like I said, some of the stuff is really not super crisp. It's not super intelligible. Like I said, I'm glad they have... Um, text-to-speech, I'm very, very happy that they have that, but at the same time, um, some of the stuff is still kind of hard to, to understand, in a way. Menu narration, volume 100, adjust Separate menu volume for volume narration, that's excellent. Voice chat, volume three, Voice chat. Copyright music off. Copyright so I've turned music copyrighted music off so I don't get a copyright strike. Um, if you're streaming or... Circle doing a video like I am right now, you know, this is an extreme sports kind of a game. Naturally, they're going to have radio stations that have licensed music, you know, hip hop, rock, techno ish stuff. There's a few different stations and different things. Headphone mix law. Use the regular optimization of sound best suited when using speakers. Audio tab preset to do. Okay, so we got some presets there for audio. Audio language. English, change, audio language. Audio language. Subtitles on, turn in game subtitles. We got subtitle audio options. Audio subtitle size small. Subtitles subtitle size. size audio. Subtitle size medium. Subtitle size large. We're going to put that to large. Size audio. Subtitles background. Actually, can we go bigger than large? Subtitle size large. No. Nope. Sometimes they have extra large. Subtitle background 0 0.50. So we've got a background we can customize. Voice chat activation. Voice, voice activation. chat. Voice Voice chat group, group, and microphone volume 5. Mic adjust volume. volume of a lot of stuff here. Audio. Colorblind mobile off. Adjust in game colors for different types of color blindness. Accessibility. So here's our accessibility press menu. And press circle button. I haven't really played with this. Um, you know, somebody really made a good point. Um, I think it was at GA Conf when somebody was talking about, like, even, you know, it's really, of course, we have accessibility features that are intended for maybe one group of people, but they can be really helpful for a lot of people. And I never really thought to look at colorblind. You know, I'm not really colorblind, but maybe some of these, like changing a certain color of something, if they don't have any color adjustment options for different UI elements or things, having um, different colorblind modes might be able to make some of those colors pop out. And so I might want to play with this a little bit more, especially when we get into the gameplay, because um, I'll show you where I, I do have a little bit of trouble here and there. Game HUD show, display or hide game HUD accessibility tab. So we got HUD. 
social presence show shows show, social presence in game units imperial okay imperial chat. units yeah menu narration on menu narration again voice chat to text lock okay voice chat to voice text chat text to speech, text -to -speech on, and on, on. so there is our accessibility so we're going to go into zen mode first because that way I can just show you some of the mechanics and we won't have to worry about really anything. We can just kind of tool around for a few minutes. Um, like I said, this is going to be kind of a... Right, so this is just a free explore mode. And I'm glad that this game is actually reading these tool tips uh, when you're loading a new area or an event there, it I reads those oh okay <laughs> so I start with my dude uh, I got my dude here and I'm on a bike and uh, we are in the Ridge, Ridge Republic or whatever and I can just start tooling around and smack into thing here. Let's get off my bike. I can hit down on the D-pad and now I can walk around. And this game looks really nice. Like I said, I'm playing this on the PS5. Um, I probably could have run this on my PC because it actually scales fairly well. Um, but I figured, that, you know, they got the code for the PS5 version, so I put it in and we're using that. Um, so we got some roads here. If I hit up on the D-pad, it gives me different vehicles that I can choose. So I got a bike, tricks bike, rocket wing, that's awesome. I'll show you that in a minute. Snow race, it's got some skis. Okay, snow tricks. We got a snowmobile. Yeah. So let's just back out of that. Um, we have licensed music. If I turn that on, I could switch between radio stations and songs. But the, the fact is, I like the fact that anything, you know, if I hit right, it kind of gives me some social stuff. Go to group member. Let's go. Select. Yes. Select. So I can do all these different things, and the text-to-speech generally reads all of it. I can click the touchpad. That brings up my map. And we don't really have events in free mode, but when I go into the regular mode and there are things on the map, when I hover over an event, uh, it will let us do that. So, and it'll read. So we got our biker here. And no, I don't mean motorcycle. We have, I'm curious if there's gonna be a lot of lag. Um, there might be, so I'm, I might suck at this even more than usual. And I'm not very good at this game. I bite it pretty good. Um, Cause I'm playing this over the PlayStation remote to my PC so I can record this. Oh, hey, how you doing? All right, let me, uh, let me switch first person baby. Now we're, yeah, first person, so right trigger, we're cruising along. Now when I'm playing just like this, it's not too bad. Um, but when I'm on a set track in an event, depending on the time of day, depending on the lighting, depending on the weather, the, the way the sun glare is, I kind of wish, you know, something again like The Last of Us 2 or... Um, um, blah, 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 what's the other, um, Ratchet and Clank, I kind of wish that I could turn like a high contrast mode on because as these games get more graphically detailed, they look fantastic. They look beautiful. Even if it didn't do the whole thing, I would almost like to have like in the bikes case here, just give me high con see like i said i could go oh okay that you know blended in or whatever and i went off the road um because i didn't see the turn in time um you know you look at how the shadows and like you got the kind of hdr lighting that's going on and you know it's just like you're going in and out and like 
for a fully sighted person, that's pretty easy to see, probably. Um, but going in and out of those shadows, and depending on, especially there's been times where I've been going into the sun, or there's been sun glare, that kind of a thing. Uh, and it's been kind of difficult. So let's quick put our boost on here for a little bit. There we go. Climb up this hill. Um, but I kind of almost wish that like I could have the road... You know, not, not everything necessarily in high contrast, but just give me like some kind of a high contrast for the roads itself, the paths or, or the critical path. You know, maybe something a little bit more than the Forza Strip, but even just having, you know, because you'll be going on, right now I'm on a nice highway, um, but there are times where like you're in a desert type environment here, so you've got kind of a brown, sandy or rocky ground, and then you just have maybe a little bit of a lighter or darker form of that for the road itself. So let me just go off road here. Let's just. Yeah, you're tuckered out, aren't you, dude? Okay, you know what? Well, let's go back down the. Oh, yeah, let's go downhill because now we can haul some serious ass. Yeah. Oh, tree. That got to hurt the shoulder a little bit. Uh oh, oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, this is bad. Yeah! Ooh, hit the rock. And this is, honestly, this is really fun. Just getting on top of a hill and just going nuts. You know, I can jump. Let me flick it into third person again. And I... Bash yeah, bash circle, and then I'll get back on. But I can do these, you know, rotations and flips. Like, if I was on a track... Uh, you know, I could be catching some seriously wicked air and, uh, you know, we could do that. So let's show you another vehicle. Let's, uh, Unavailable in no, I want up by grace down. and let's do air. some flying. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hi tree. I always get a little confused as how to, how to launch myself. All right. So normally when you start, you don't have your, your air glider. It's not motorized, but I basically... I've got a jetpack on, essentially, right now, which is kind of badass, not going to lie. That's pretty awesome. But if I go over, let's see, I'm going to fly over to these mountains over here so we can take some skiing or some snowmobiling. I mean, look at, look at this. You're just seamlessly navigating. Let's go first person. I mean, I could just, you know, use this as... This might be a great backdrop to a end-of-year video or something like that. Where, like, yeah, we're just going to cruise around the countryside in Zen mode here. And and uh, go for it. Oh, boy. Okay, we're getting a little close. Okay, here's the thing. We're going to... We're at the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Hold on. Let me... Okay. Okay, we're walking. We're gonna switch to snow race down. Snow races. Alrighty, son. Let's do this. No, let's not. Let's biff. Let's do that first. And the other thing that's kind of disorienting, I get why they do it, because it would probably make some people super motion sick, is when you really catch some air and you're going to do a trick, or even if you have it in first person. Ow, and I'm doing just terrible. Um, it zooms out to third person, so like that. Hey, I actually landed that. Oak tree. Ooh, I thought that would have clipped me in half. Okay, we're not really on snow anymore so much. Uh, we've got a little bit of mixture of grass and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, let's, uh, continue back to right options for session. Let's go back into we our continue our main game, game because I'll show you, I do want to show you accessibility-wise, I want to show, 
the waypoint system and how the speech reads the map and kind of when I'm in a race where I can have trouble because you just like uh, Forza and many other games you can rewind um, you can rewind time if you really screw up so that can be really helpful uh, are you gonna what are we doing here Okay. It's loading or thinking about something. I think it's trying to connect online or something. I don't know why it does that. It just... Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Let's go continue. And, I mean, just look at how fast. This is a giant open world, seamless... And we're already in the game right now. So we start here. I just got a tour from somebody. Um, let me get off my bike here. Um, I have my mic off, hopefully. And this is seamless. So, like, if there's enough people, all of these uh, people that you see walking or driving around are actual other players. And if they're not... Um, they're ghosts of other players. So that is pretty cool. So, you know, you have your rider customization. You get new bikes, you get new vehicles or new, you know, upgraded equipment. That kind of a thing. But let's say, let's bring up my map. And uh, let's go... Let's see... Pass travel, Isaac Plateau. Start from that position. Press cross button. Sure. So it reads that. All right. So we got our plateau up here. And I could bring up my bike and just start riding. Oh, we got a bunch of people just. Yeah, there, I don't know how many... Oh, that's. I knew that was going to land badly. I knew that was, that was going to be bad. Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, yeah. I, okay, I'm not the only one wiping out here. We're on the highway. Let's go off-road a little. Oh, okay. We did something right. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, that's... Oh, wow. How did I land that? That... All right. Why am I doing that? First person, baby. Uh, oh. Yeah, I think that one, that assist is what helped me land that one. Because that was not gonna... Okay. Let's go to our map again. And let's try to do an event or something. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to snap two events. Like, I can freely move the cursor around. Sure, why not? And look at that, it's instantaneous. Now, the other thing that I really like is look at the giant pillar. Now that I have a goal in mind, if I want to go to that, all I got to do is just wander in that direction. I can just follow not just a tiny little diamond waypoint, but I can actually follow, um, you know, I can just bike to that location. Actually, well, yeah, I was going to say I could take the snowmobile, but... I'm in the snow, but let's just head toward this uh, bike event. I really haven't played, you know, like, I enjoy watching... At the top of Mammoth Mountain, there's a sign post where I left you a little treat. Ah. Yeah, no need to thank me. Just make sure you find it. Uh-oh, that's gonna be bad. Come on, get up here. Um... Oh yeah! Oh boy, we're f we're flying. Hey, buddy. Okay. 
So let's do solo. Um, like what I was saying is I don't... I don't really play with other people. I like seeing them in the world and kind of following them, watching around. But again, I'm just not really a social, competitive and thing. Finish with answers. Red Bull Holy Bike. Life affirming. So we're not having any music. So now we're actually going to be on a course. And I'm sure I'm going to flub this one up quite nicely. But uh, we'll wrap up the video here fairly soon. Because I want this to be an accessibility video. But also here show a bit of gameplay. Red Bull Holy Bike returns for another year. Okay. If this isn't a chance for riders to demonstrate their skills, then what is? Absolutely. It's going to be a fantastic spectacle. Oh. Yep, see, I missed the checkpoint because I just spun out a little bit. Um, I just went outside to see that, and they're really, they're really a stickler about that. You cannot take shortcuts, really, because you really want to um, hit all those checkpoints. Otherwise, it'll zoom you back. So this contrast isn't too bad so far because, like, the snowy area. I was having some trouble, though, in the lower, like grassy and sandy stuff when there was way more shadows and the you know the course was oh god kind of blending in oh, okay he makes the all right i made it i made the checkpoint and i'm just driving like yeah you know what let's back up here so here's my revert okay i can back up let's go right here okay let's see if, oh okay that made it worse Oh, right, okay. Okay, so now I'm... Mm, nope, we made the checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, there's more... There's definitely more lag because I have to steer... I feel like I'm steer. I'm oversteering. Uh, so the remote play, note to self, uh, this does not work very well. There is definitely a little bit of a lag. So partly I'm sucking, but partly it, it is... Um, I'm overcompensating and steering too late, but what I was saying was that... There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Let's back up. Um, in some places, you know, I have trouble seeing, you know, when the track is, let's say, dirt, and then the... Uh, you know, you've got dirt around the track, uh, the contrast, like it's really helpful to have the, the track be just a really highly high contrast from the surrounding areas. And this reminds me, I, oh, oh god, I did a video a while back for a game called Descenders. And it was a downhill biking game and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to get back into it, actually, but, uh, this is really fun. Like, I need to get better at it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where the heck am I going? Okay, I totally whiffed something here. I think we gotta go to the right, actually. Yeah, here we go. Okay, right and then left, okay. Yeah, it's just not compensating very well. It's uh, oversteering a little bit. Ooh. Catching some serious air. Ooh. Oh, and I smacked into that canyon wall nicely. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, that... Uh, <laughs> this is not going really well. Oh yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble with these tighter corners. A lot of trouble with these corners. Yeah, see this area, it's almost hard for me to see where the track is because of all the sun and the shadows. It, you know, the some of the stuff actually kind of blends in. Um, it's a little tough for me to see what direction I'm supposed to go. Um, you know, I see the arrows and stuff there, but 
There's some parts of it that make it a little bit tricky. Uh-oh. No, get it back on the road. Uh-oh. No, I was trying to speed up. Really? All right. Let's... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I was going to try to back up. <laughs> yeah, boo is right. Okay, let's slow her down a notch. I know we're not supposed to sno slow down. We're a race, but hey. And there we go. Our terrible finish. Um, but I did, I did want to show you the waypoint system, which I really, really do like. I love that they have the beacons. I really love that they have the beacons staying up so high. And you're not looking at just a tiny little compass diamond. Yeah, I didn't win that one. So you get some XP. And you're trying to earn... Rest. What in the heck? Okay, we're clipping through each other. <laughs> um, let me pause. Um, so the goal is you're trying to get these stars because you're trying to enter... You're trying to enter this uh, big event, you know, uh, this multidiscipline event. But like I said, it's cool because the game it kind of walks you through... You start out, get, you get a basic bike, uh, and you do some races. You do a little bit of tricking. Uh, I've done some skiing. I don't think I've done snowboarding yet, but I've seen it. Um, I've gotten a snow, snowmobile so I can travel in there better. I haven't done, other than in the Zen mode, I haven't done any like parasailing, paragliding kind of a thing. Um, except for in the very intro when you very first start the game, it kind of gives you, uh, almost like Forza does, where it shows you some different types of environments and different types of activities. Um, you do a little biking, do a little skiing, and then you have some flying around and you have to fly through rings. <laughs> and it doesn't suck like Superman 64. I was remembering that game, flying through rings. Ooh. But, um... You know, mostly that wasn't too bad to see, um, and the rewind feature really does help. But, um, you know, I am really enjoying this. Uh, I definitely will play this more on the PlayStation itself and not the remote through the remote app because there is definitely a little bit of input lag, and when you're rocketing down the mountains on a bike or something, you can definitely feel it. And so I probably wouldn't have wiped out near as much as I did during this video but um the way i'm playing this <clears throat> you don't want you want as little input lag as possible for playing a game like this but uh that is a look at some of the accessibility of riders republic uh, again i really appreciate the fact that they have screen reader narration they have accessibility onboarding the first thing that you see when you start the game that's great um, I kind of wish they had a dark theme for the menus or like an inverted because there is a lot of white when we were looking at the options and even here. Um, I kind of, you know, like more of a, I'm used to running in a dark theme for most things that I do. So this is a little bit bright. Um, so that would be good. But there's, you know, there's control options. There's assist options for, you know, um, racing and landing tricks and grinding and things like that. Um, no, not really anything for totally blind accessibility other than the menu narration, but actual gameplay, uh, not so much. When I'm in a race, I do find that I do have kind of trouble seeing different parts of the track. Um, and like I said, if there was some sort of like a high contrast mode, I could toggle on and off or... If there could be like a, you know, I don't know, choose a, let me choose a color and let me highlight the, highlight the actual road in blue or red or whatever. Um, that could be an interesting option. Um, cause like I said, it, it's a beautiful game, uh, but some of it can be, um, I do find myself kind of missing turns every once in a while. Cause I like, I didn't notice the, 
uh, a turn that sneaked up on me really quick, and then I go flying off the side or something. But um, very cool game. I'm definitely going to keep playing this. Um, I don't play these very often, but I really do enjoy, like I said, I've played Descenders some, did a video on that. I loved 1080 snowboarding on the N64. SSX Tricky, God, I wish they would bring that back. I played the hell out of that game. Um, so I do love the, the occasional extreme sports games. So thank you again to Ubisoft for providing the review code um, for this game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you found the accessibility information helpful. Uh, like the video if you did. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with you again later.